Hey guys, real quick before the video starts, I just want to announce that I've partnered with Amino for this video to help launch their Halo community. Basically, Halo Amino is the ultimate social community for fans to meet and interact. It's sort of like a combo of Discord and Reddit. It's got a really nice UI along with a bunch of cool features like a chat, Halo news, and quizzes. Of which, I kid you not, there's actually an iconic Flood one. I laughed quite a bit when I found this. I'm currently right at the top of the leaderboard for this Flood quiz, so download the app on Android or iOS today. The links are in the description down below, which will take you straight to the Halo section. So come check out the app and see if you can beat my score. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I thought we'd look at how the Covenant's massive holy city, High Charity, home to over 20 million members of the Covenant, was so quickly infected and completely converted into a flood hive by the flood. So, to put everything into perspective, High Charity has a diameter of over 200 miles. It houses more than 20 million members of the Covenant, and acts as the main hub of the Covenant as well. Therefore, it's aptly defended with an entire Covenant fleet. The Flood couldn't just waltz in and infect everything without trying. Even with this in mind, it took them less than 38 days to infect the entire goddamn thing and then also turn it into a Flood Hive as well. So, it's safe to say the Flood mean business. But how did they manage to even penetrate High Charity in the first place, considering it was well guarded? Well, they wouldn't stand a chance at fighting the fleet. There's no chance they'd even try and sneak past it. Instead, when the UNSC and Amberclad were stationed above the library, the Flood managed to get on board and infect the entire frigate. No fucking clue how, but I mean, it's the Flood. <laughs> we don't ask questions. The Gravemind then created a slipspace portal above the library that led to the inside of High Charity, and then essentially slingshot the frigate, sending it flying into the inside of High Charity, evading the entire defense fleet, before crashing it into one of the supporting struts and letting the flood spread inside. Now, normally this would have been pretty containable. I mean, the flood were pouring out of only one place, spreading by means of pelicans, which are very weak to AA guns, many of which were likely stationed around High Charity, which would have been able to shoot them down. The reason this didn't happen is because of the Great Schism. The civil war between the Brutes and the Elites had begun, so High Charity was effectively a war zone, and all of the Covenant's most adept warriors that would normally be used to fight the Flood were too busy fighting each other, and therefore the Flood were allowed to spread in the background with ease. The fact that the dead bodies of the Elites and Brutes and other Covenant were also left just strewed all over the place made it even easier for the Flood to collect biomass too, which only accelerated the conversion of the Holy City into a Flood Hive. Now, after a while, what little remained of the Elites and Brutes ended up evacuating the city because the Flood had simply spread too much, and the foreigner key ship that was powering the entire city took off, with Truth, the final Hierarch, alive on board. Meanwhile, in the surrounding space, Elite and Brute fleets continued to fight each other, until eventually the Brutes were driven away, and the Elite ships moved in to try and quarantine what little was left of High Charity. Now, obviously, as we know, they weren't all that successful. Yeah, they managed to prevent most Flood-infected Covenant carriers from escaping High Charity and performing a slipspace jump to infect other portions of the galaxy, but by this time, it was far too late for the city itself. The Gravemind had fully assimilated the entire city, taken control of the Council Chamber, and also managed to find a way to provide the power for the entire city himself, considering the key ship that previously was used to power it was on its way to Earth. As well as applying precursor modifications, the Gravemind ultimately turned the entire city into a full-blown Flood Hive, allowing it to spawn various Flood forms, as well as making it a massive, but more importantly, a mobile base of operations for the Flood. So, at this point, High Charity was all but lost, and it no longer belonged to the Covenant. Ultimately, the Gravemind took it to the Ark via a portal above Mars instead of the portal on Earth for obvious reasons, to help stop Truth from activating the rings. It crashed on the Ark, and after stopping Truth, Chief then went inside to rescue Cortana from the depths of the city, where she'd been tortured by the Gravemind for a whole 38 days. Now, I'm still just hoping that that 38 day time span is where the Gravemind gave Cortana the Logic Plague, and that explains why she's acting so 
fucking weird in Halo 5, not the excuse that we've been given. Fingers crossed, please make that happen. Anyways, after rescuing her, Chief overloaded the city's backup reactor core, escaped on a pelican, and then watched it explode. However, that's not the end of High Charity's story, actually not by a long shot. There are still quite a lot of its remains on the Ark, and supposedly, some of the Flood on board survived. And that's what we're going to be fighting in Awakening the Nightmare this fall. Now, I'm still hoping that there's a Gravemind alive in there somewhere, because, I mean, there should be. If there's a Flood Juggernaut, there theoretically should be a Gravemind, because the Juggernaut is a pure form, and pure forms can only exist if a Gravemind exists, so... Fingers crossed, but at the end of the day, only time will tell. Sadly, retcons exist. Not that I think they'd retcon anything, but, like I said, time will tell. And that's it! That's how the Great Covenant City of High Charity fell to the Flood so quickly and easily. This just proves that what I've said many, many times, the Flood aren't just space zombies. They are much, much more than that. Combined with a grave mind, they really are a force to be reckoned with. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Next time, I've got something really, really fucking awesome to debut, and yes, it is most definitely Flood-related. It's also got like a, a nice little dash of nostalgia thrown in there too, so I think all parties will enjoy it. Thanks again for watching guys, and I'll catch you next time.